Okay, so last time I mentioned that I had problems with the stylus. When the stylus it gets down here near the bottom, sometimes it starts to just stop. It starts to go really jittery like this. And there are other times where switching back and forth between the stylus and the mouse will not allow the the one or the other to work properly. I'm not sure if it was ge just getting overheated or what the thing or what the problem has been. Um, I can tell you before I put the screen in, I didn't have that issue. I did have a little bit of jitter, and that's understandable considering the tablet is a 2003 model. <laughs> of the uh, Wacom Intuos 3, so it it's kind of old, um, but you know, it usually performs fairly well for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to take it apart and we'll show you some things um, that I didn't show on screen um, in the build process, uh, and hopefully that'll help. Um, and also I'm going to take a look at this bottom area here and this top area here because I think what's happening is I'm getting interference and maybe not interference so much as shorting from the uh, metal this aluminum tape I think is touching the tablet digitizer uh, board and causing uh, a short circuit I'm hoping that's not the case but I, I'm pretty fearful that that's what's going on so I'm gonna see if I can uh, put something in place to alleviate that. So first we take off, turn off the power and as you can see I haven't built a stand yet. I'm still using these stands from the monitors as a prop and I'm going to gently lay this down this way pull out the power, pull out the DVI cable, and I'm doing this as I go simply because uh, I've done voiceover for all the other ones and it hasn't worked as well. I mean it's worked, it's just taken a lot longer than I anticipated for this build. Um, I want to show you one thing I added. I uh, before I placed this case on here, um, <coughs> I had to bend parts of this this previous case, this uh, monitor case that I had from the old build. Um, anyway, I had to bend bend it out of the way so I'd have access for these uh, these ports to connect, and then also I bolted it down. And you'll see that on the inside I used uh, just, see if I have them still on my desk. I do. Hey, what do you know? Just some machine screws. The shortest, they're 3 8 inches, uh, number 6 machine screws that I could find. So anyway, I'm not going to pull those off, but they are holding this case fairly rigidly to the back of the tablet. So there's no, I don't have real fear of that causing any sort of error. Um, so I'm going to disconnect each of these screws around the tablet case. And there are six, I actually used one of those machine screws right, uh, right down there because it was kind of lo it looked like there should have been one there, but there wasn't. And I wanted whatever I could put in place to make sure it stayed stable or stable, excuse me. So that is all of the screws. Now with all of the weight on this this top end, I'm going to keep it top heavy or put that near the bottom as I kind of flip it over and I'm dropping the screws already I knew that would happen get these
one's over here. Get this one here. Come out of there. Keep them so I don't lose them. And there's that one. There's that one. And one final one. I just, I guess it doesn't want to come out. So let me move those screws out of the way. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll set these to the side. And with the, the screen covered up with the plexiglass, I'm not going to go grab gloves. Um, I'll just see what I can do. Now this is a really snug fit, you'll see that. And part of the thing to remember is it's still connected. The, the PCB uh, of the tablet digitizer is still connected to these other things. This is the aluminum tape I put on to try and hold the monitor to the case. I don't think that's a good plan. It's not working to hold the monitor in. I think it's working more to short the board. So I'm going to take that off. All right. Get that past everything. And we're still connected here. So let me see if I can pull that connection without breaking it. It's really tricky right right there. So I'm going to pop the digitizer. The digitizer board is connected right here at this point and now it's loose, so this all should swing free, and I can open it up a little more and get to these ribbons here. And these just have these slide connections, and the ribbon just slides out. Let's see if I can show you on this side. see that right there it's got this little slide and then you can pull the ribbon out and now it's free okay so I'm gonna go slowly and gingerly because I know I have connected this ribbon through here and I don't want that to break so let's just lay that up there. Okay. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, the this mag aluminum tape is stuck to my assembly of the monitor right there. And it was, a t it was an attempt to hold it in place to this cover sheet, or the cover panel. But I think this con it was coming in contact with the tablet itself. And I can't see. It doesn't look like anything is burned. So I don't have any short circuit going on here. The back at the top is shielded mostly by the plastic that's there by default, well not there by default, but that first layer of plastic I played placed down there. This side is getting a little dirty. It might have, it may have shorted over here. So. Before I do anything else, I'm going to get 
a sheet of probably some paper. I've seen people using paper uh, just to protect the back of the, or excuse me, protect the digitizer board from the back of the monitor. Oh yeah, people, people doing this. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get more information. Um, there's a website called bongofish.co.uk um, and these guys have been putting together uh, these DIY tablet builds for years and years, decade almost, well maybe more than a decade. Anyway, um, yeah I'll put a link in the description and you can go there to check out more info. I will be right back, so hold tight.